Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow square DEGF fully inscribed uh, in an isosceles uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the base uh, of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 30 units. And moreover, the area of this triangle uh, ABC has been given to us uh, as uh, 300 square units. And furthermore, uh, this uh, CM uh, is the perpendicular. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, CM uh, is the height uh, of this triangle. Uh, abc let me label uh, this height uh, as a lowercase uh, h and moreover the base uh, of this triangle uh, abc is uh, 30 and the area of this uh, triangle abc has been given to us as uh, 300 so therefore let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height let's fill in the blank so area of this triangle is uh, 300 equals to 1 divided by 2 times base is 30 times our height is h. Let's simplify. So therefore we're going to have 15 h equals to 300. Let's divide both sides by 15 to isolate h. So therefore our height h turns out to be 20 units so therefore the height uh, of this triangle uh, abc turns out to be 20 units and here's our next step we know that this uh, triangle abc is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle uh, abc is uh, equal to this angle uh, bac and since uh, this uh, cm is the perpendicular so therefore uh, this segment uh, am is going to be equal to this segment uh, mb if this total length is uh, 30 then this segment uh, am is going to be 15 and likewise uh, this segment uh, mb is 15 as well and here's our next step let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words, uh, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. If I call this angle uh, alpha, and since uh, this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And likewise, uh, this angle is uh, 90 degrees uh, as well. So in this uh, triangle uh, AFD, if this angle is alpha, then this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And now we can see that this angle is alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. Say so they are going to be our corresponding uh, angles. So therefore we conclude that this uh, smaller right triangle uh, AFD is uh, similar to this uh, bigger uh, right triangle uh, AMC according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportions that means the ratio of AF uh, and uh, FD. Let me write it down uh, AF uh, divided by FD uh, is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, AM and uh, MC. Let me write it down uh, AM divided by MC. And now we can see our uh, AM length uh, is uh, 15 and our MC length uh, is uh, 20. So therefore I can write uh, AF divided by FD is going to be equal to 15 uh, divided by 20 and now we can see 15 and 20 could be reduced to 3 and 4 so therefore uh, AF divided by FD is going to be a ratio of uh, 3 and 4 so therefore uh, we are going to have AF 
equals to 3 times some constant k and uh, f d is going to be 4 times some constant k and now our task is to find the value of this constant k so therefore our this segment uh, af turns out to be 3k and this uh, segment uh, fd turns out to be 4k and since we are dealing with this uh, square degf the side length of this square is 4k so therefore this side length is going to be 4k 4k and uh, 4k across the board and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, cm uh, is the perpendicular so therefore we conclude that uh, this segment uh, dp is going to be equal to this segment uh, pe and likewise this segment fm is going to be equal to this segment uh, mg so therefore this whole uh, segment is 4k so therefore this part is going to be 2k and this uh, segment is going to be 2k as well and likewise uh, this uh, segment uh, is going to be 2k and this uh, segment is 2k as well now let's make an observation we can see this whole uh, segment uh, am is going to be the sum of this uh, 3k and 2k 3k plus 2k is going to give us uh, 5 times k and moreover this uh, segment uh, am is uh, 15 so therefore we can write uh, 5 times k equals to 15 let's divide both sides by 5 so therefore our k value turns out to be 3 so therefore uh, this side uh, of the square 4 times k and k value is 3 so therefore uh, 4 times 3 is going to give us uh, 12 so that's the side length of this uh, yellow square turns out to be 12 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow square degf and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length uh, of the square so therefore the area of this uh, yellow square is going to be 12 uh, square since the side length of the square is 12 let's simplify the right hand side 12 square is going to give us uh, 144 uh, square units so thus the area of this uh, yellow square degf turns out to be 144 uh, square units and that's our final uh, answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye